Hi everyone, welcome to the single spam beam tutorial using the SkySeed beam module. I'm Daniel Vivas, Product Manager of SkySeed Engineering, and in this tutorial I will guide you through the process of modeling, analyzing, and designing a beam using the SkySeed beam module. Remember that you can find more information about beams and many more topics in our documentation. So, let's get started. We will start by creating our beam. It will have a length of 4 meters. I click on add. I will add some supports. On the left side of the beam I will use a pin support and on the right I will use a roll support. Next I will create this section. I will use this section builder. I will go to American I'll select the channels and I will choose the biggest section here. I will show you in the future how we can optimize this section using the beam module. So I will leave this information like this and I will submit this section. Here you can see all of the section properties and we can go back. If you want to see your section, you just can click here on the 3D renderer and you will see that now our beam is using the section that we just imported from the section builder. Now I will create a distributed load. So I'll click here. The start position will be on the left side and the end position will be on the right side. So I'll just click on these two buttons. The magnitude in this example will be 1 in this direction. And the load case will be a live load. I'll click add and I can go back. Now I can see here the load combinations. In this case, I'll use the load combination uh, by default. It will put a factor of 1 for each case. And I will also I'll save this and I'll also activate the self weight option. So we are ready to solve our beam. Here we can see all the results for our beam. We can check the reactions, the bending moment diagram, shear force diagram, the deflection, bending stresses, shear stress, the beam section and all of the properties and the 3D renderer for our beam. On the right side you can check all of the results. In this case we have the load combination one selected. So it will show you the results for this load combination. So you can see the reactions, force, extremes, stresses and you can see all the summary for these results. Also you can see here the summary for all the checks, so uh, the program will check the deflection, the custom stress limit, the material yield and the material strength. If we take a look at this ratio result, you can see that it's very close to zero. So it is telling us that we are not using all the capacity of our section, so it may, it may be oversized. If this is close to 1 and less than 1, it'll tell us that maybe we are using an optimized section for this example and if this ratio is higher than 1, it means that our section could be undersized, so we need to take a look at that. So in this case, uh, we have a case where our section is oversized so I will show you how we can design this section and also optimize it. So to design our section, I can go here to design. I can select any of these design codes. In this case, I'll use this one. And I'll click here on submit design. You can see that all of the status passes. You can see the capacity and also the ratio that we were receiving. These are also very close to zero, so it means that our section is oversized. So to optimize the section, I can go here. 
You can see that I have many options. In this case, I can select a, a section with a height between a minimum and a maximum value. Also, in, in the case of the width, in this case, I will use uh, all the sections in the library. I will reduce this analysis interval, so it will take uh, more time to analyze, but the results will be more accurate. I will click on Optimize Section. So we can see here the original section that we defined at the beginning of this tutorial, and you can see now the Optimize Section. You can also check here all, all of the optimizer runs so it is doing many iterations uh, changing these sections and what this optimizer is doing is that it will choose the section with the maximum utility ratio so you can select a section of this table but we will leave it like this and we will use the, the section that the optimizer is suggesting to use. So I will commit this optimize section. We can see here that now we have all of the results with the new section that uh, we selected from the optimizer. So as you can see, we have all the results and now we have this summary of the checks and you can see that the utility ratio is closer to one so our section is now optimized you can also check here all of the hand calculations for the results so we can open for example these calculations for the reactions and you'll be able to see all the steps that we follow to obtain the results Let's check the bending moment diagram and how we calculate it. So you can also download this uh, report as a PDF. Another thing that you can do here is that if you have more complex cases of beam analysis, you can always open your models in S3D. You just have to click here. And you can create more complex uh, cases in this structural 3D module that we offer in SkySIF. You have completed the single span beam tutorial using the SkySIF beam module. I hope this tutorial has provided you with valuable insights into the process of modeling, analyzing, and designing beams in the beam module. If you have any questions or need assistance, our team at SkySIF Engineering is always here to help. Thank you.